Hello, Peter Slowick here, and today we're going to talk about marcato. The ability to grab the string adequately is the foundation of really all string playing. Suzuki knew this when they teach the, what I call the uh, Suzuki chop. That stroke with the ability to grab but not release the string is the foundation for uh, Richard Strauss, Don Juan, right? The, some of the most virtuosic things we play on our instrument are based on that Suzuki principle. I'd like to talk about what the marcato really is though. Do you ever think about the marcato? It's actually just a bit of noise. It's a bit of scratch. It's a bit of this. Granted, a very little bit, but if you would extend that to a long period of time, you'd get... Actually, I just got an undertone there, uh, an octave below the uh, fundamental note. Which is kind of an interesting kind of uh, scratch to get. But if you want to get good at marcato and you want to get good at playing the instrument, I would recommend that you practice scratches. And then learn how to do just a tiny bit of that. A catch and release, like Pinka Zuckerman talks about. Okay, so there are three elements to the marcato stroke. One, of course, is the catch, the grabbing, the establishing of contact with the string. The other is pulling the bow, but with a release. So marcato is really a stroke that happens before it happens. Uh, the preparation is vital to the marcato. So in order to get really good at that, I would recommend you uh, try a scratch before you play a marcato stroke. So scratch to make sure you have the contact, and then pull, scratch, pull, scratch. In this case, with the scratch being in the direction that you're going to pull. So down bow scratch, up bow scratch, down bow scratch, up bow scratch. We usually learn marcato in the upper part of the bow. Why is that? Well, it's harder to get weight in the upper half of the bow, so that's a good thing to practice up there. But more important, I think, is because the uh, release is so important to the stroke, and a release is hard to do in the lower hip part of the bow. We actually would have to lift our arm out of the string. In the upper half of the bow, it's very easy to come out of the string, so we just pull and release, and the bow comes out of the string naturally. But I would recommend practicing your marcato in all parts of the bow. A couple of tips for getting a really, really, really excellent marcato. Um, one is that in addition to the full grab of the string and then the release, is that there's a little bit of finger motion. You'll notice when I did this in the lower half of the bow, I'm using the collet motion. So the collet can be a uh, vital part to get the bow started in a great marcato stroke, no matter where you are in the string. Or I should say, no matter where you are on the bow. So another important part of the marcato is the speed. When we play a marcato, generally, we play a relatively fast bow speed. So the um, French invented something called the Grand Martelet, the Big Martelet. I use the terms marcato and martelet interchangeably. I don't know about you, but uh, I don't uh, split hairs with those two terms. So um, the Grand Martelet is a very fast use of the bow, whole bow, with martelet. It doesn't sound good on viola, but I'm going to show you anyway. The idea is you get from one end to the other with the, with the first impulse. Not halfway and then another redraw. You get 
all the way out. So then you take that thing, practice that thing, which doesn't sound good, but it's helpful, and then you use just a little bit of it to launch the bow with a very fast bow speed. So that's the marcato stroke. Really, really the foundation of all of our string playing. Um, it's interesting, the Kreutzer Etudes, the Matzas Etudes, the Don't Etudes, all these Etude books, about half of the first five, 10 exercises in the book are marcato exercises. I think it's fundamental um, to string playing, marcato. It's the ability to grab the string, but to let go right away. So enjoy. It's just like fishing. Catch and release.